A federal judge says when it comes to sanctuary cities and federal money, the punishment does not fit the crime. The judge has rejected President Trump's policy of denying grant money to cities that refuse to cooperate with federal immigration law. But the case may not be settled just yet. National correspondent William Lajeunesse reports from Los Angeles. Good evening, William. Hey, Brad. The administration claims it will appeal, and one reason involves a disagreement over what pot of money sanctuary cities stand to lose. Now, officials insist it's a small amount, maybe one or two million, but only for law enforcement grants. The judge disagreed, citing the president's own words. He blocked a signature campaign promise. Public safety in the interior of the United States. In January, President Trump signed an executive order saying sanctuary cities that fail to comply with federal law will not receive federal funds. Last night, a U.S. District Court judge ruled that unconstitutional, saying federal funding that bears no meaningful relationship to immigration enforcement cannot be threatened merely because a jurisdiction chooses an immigration enforcement strategy of which the president disapproves. That drew immediate fire from Trump supporters. That order needs to be in place. And what you don't want to have, Bill, is sanctuary cities popping up that are going to be a safe haven or a harbor for those who are conducting illegal activity. The ruling means the administration cannot claw back federal money or withhold new grant money from cities that refuse to help deport criminal aliens. This is a backdoor attempt to coerce states and local governments to carry out federal immigration enforcement. California stands to lose millions in federal aid as a sanctuary state, a policy many sheriffs oppose. My fear is what's next. Are they going to restrict us from talking to the FBI or the DEA? Uh, we should have unfettered access and communication when we're trying to keep our community safe. The White House says it will appeal, calling Judge Oreck's ruling flawed. Oreck raised $200,000 for President Obama and personally gave 30000 to committees supporting his campaign. This judge is a politician. Uh, he's a bundler for Obama. He's made contributions before he was on the bench. He now, the injunction is nationwide. Oryx says the president illegally threatened to use defunding as a weapon. The administration says it is simply enforcing a law governing federal funds that was endorsed but not enforced by President Obama. Now, two weeks ago, the Trump team told cities, if you don't want to follow the law, don't apply for the money. Brett? William Lajeunesse in Los Angeles. William, thank you.